knock it in. Bass chipped it out to sit in the left wing. Misplayed by Brichette. Chopped in. Bass two on almost Sillinger. Bass shooting. Scores! Gabe Bass. Who else? The veteran in his second game seven against Vernon makes it 1 0 Bees with 12.09 to go. How about the speed and breakaway speed at that? A Gabe Bastis just before the center line. He gets on his horse and a Vernon player tied up with one of the Bees falls down, creates a two on one, and Gabe Bast all shot, right handed shot, mid circle, five hole through Hanson. The Bees in a huge game seven up. 1-0. When the V's score the game's first goal, they are by Clouston. Brandt hit there by Sanheim, but slides it back and out to center ice. Picked up by a charging Bast in left side. Jones sidesteps a check. Jones left circle. Jones waiting. Back door. Campbell scores! Mr. Game 7 makes it 2-0. Nick Jones sets up Campbell. He had a huge game seven against Merritt. He scores here again, and with 5.25 gone, the Bees are up by a pair. Well, Gabe Bass is going to pick up a second assist on this one as he draws almost all five Vernon Vipers to him and throws a puck out the left side to Jones, and Jones all kinds of patience. One move, a second move, hang on to it, slide it over to Campbell, and Campbell, no goals in this series, is on the board. The Bees up by two. That at 5.25, Campbell his third and first point of this series, as you mentioned. Talked about Mr. Game 7, he scored a critical goal Careful against here, Bees, pick off the puck at their line. Cylinder rink wide on left wing, bounce from Amante and away from him. But Hansen, the side of his goal, plays it near corner. 6.55 to go in counting. Vernon down 2 nothing, but through center ice. Zandian left wing, whipped it in, Bass on the far left wall. Couldn't clear, played back to the blue line. Fan on by Seibel, then gave it away. Chipped ahead, Sanheim, can he have a step on Kelly? One on one, dances in, shooting! Oh my! What a goal! Sanheim, upstairs! Three, nothing! Oh my God. Sanheim, left-handed shot, coming through center ice. I don't know what defenseman that was as he got absolutely undressed by Sanheim. Comes inside, outside, and goes top shelf on Darian Hansen. Oh my goodness. One time's a glove side. That we'll take immediate timeout or a timeout by Vernon. We'll stay right here, folks. Never mind. Sorry. Is filthy. Sanheim. The in this entire third period to get any real quality scoring chances. At the V's. Big faceoff win by Nash on the icing call. V's got it out to center. That was Sanheim. Turning and firing it back in is Brandt. 10 30 to go in this third period. Miller in front gave it away. Lansdale pass. They score. Riley Brandt on a grievous turnover. And it's 3 1 with 10 26 to go. Well, you can't take anything for granted. 3 0 lead against the Vernon Vipers is nothing. And you just give them a bit of life on a terrible turnover beside the net. And you have essentially a three on one all within 10 feet of the V's goal. And Matt Robson tries to get a glove on this one as it beats him no chance up over him. the glove. And yeah, that's a tough one. Brandt's going to score that more times than not. And James Miller, I think, just a, a step out from the side of the net. An active stick by the Vipers. And Brandt put it in the back of the net to give Vernon Vernon Vee's clean to a 3 1 lead. Scrambled. Trot to the point, left side upper, tees it up, diving block by Campbell. Puck on the left wall, 99 seconds left, thrown in front, diving block Jones, banked off the boards down ice by Crookshank, but another icing call here in the left circle, goes across, Crookshank, five seconds left, gets out to center ice. You can keep skating to Chilliwack, the V's are going to the Fred Page Cup final. Final score, 3-1 Penticton. What a hockey game. Good night. Bees are going back to the Fred Page Cup Final. After a emotional seven game series against a very, 
very good Vernon Vipers Hockey Club. What a hockey game here. Well, that's how you want to respond after a, and we can say it now, Fraser, awful game six for the Bees, and they come out tonight and limit their chances, limit their turnovers and mistakes to very, very few, and find some offense, coaching staff, healthy scratches, suspended Chris Clack down there congratulating the team as the Penticton Bees earned this one in every sense of the word and congratulations to the Vernon Vipers on a very, very well fought, hard pressed series. They made Penticton work extremely hard for this game seven win and the Bees overcome some adversity after game six and they're off to the league final. 33-29, the final shots on goal. It's hard to hear as this crowd is still going nuts. Vernon lining up at their blue line and the handshakes will start soon. Congratulations to Vernon Viper 20-year-olds. Cooper Watson, Austin Adamson, Riley Brandt, Hunter Zandy and Connor Clouston on a fantastic series and junior career. And the V's better Vernon at home in game seven. Again, this doesn't get any better. What a showcase for the BCHL tonight.